Today we're going to check out this new keyboard that I got. Is it any good? Well, maybe. Let's find out together. Hello, hi, how you doing? I'm TechDweeb, welcome. I've been really looking forward to making this video. This here is a keyboard that I'm excited to check out. Uh, the company that makes this, they, they sent it to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big famous YouTuber now. <laughs> Companies want to send me stuff to check out on my channel. It's no, no big deal. <laughs> Don't think it's gone to my head or anything. My freaking huge head with my tiny neck. Yeah, so this company asked me if I'd like the keyboard, if I'd like to check it out, hoping I'd show it to you guys. Initially, I didn't want to do it. I don't just want to take everything that comes along, but I checked it out on their website, and it looks really nice. Like, really, really freaking nice. And I was intrigued, because they're going on about their unique jellyfish switches, which I have no idea what they're uh, about. I don't think they're made with real jellyfish parts, jellyfish meat. Or, or whatever. But don't, don't quote me on that though. So I had to do it. But I said I'd only accept it if I could give an honest review though. So that, that's what I'm going to do today. But I do think I'm going to like it a lot. Their website made it look really cool. But we'll see about that. For context, this is my current made keyboard. It's just a cheap little candy bar style keyboard that I customized with some nice little <laughs> retro accent buttons there, because that's fun. I've got lots of keyboards. I, I, I love keyboards. I'm not really a snob when it comes to keyboards. I, I've, I've got all sorts of cheap keyboards and a, f a few expensive ones, and I love them all usually. I'm pretty easy to please, and I love trying out new keyboards. The company that sent this, they actually sent this nice little, little letter, so let's check it out together. Hey, soon to be be you be you fa keyboard fan. Oh, well, that that's presumptuous. Uh, we'll see about that. So glad you decided to check out and review this awesome keyboard. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. On behalf of me, uh, pronounced me like me. Oh, uh, uh sorry guys. I'll, I'll, I'll pronounce it pro properly from now on. On behalf of the B team, we hope you enjoy this keyboard to its full capacity. Try out the custom RGB light. Our black IO keyboard is also equipped by WMKVIA, which is literally the holy grail of keyboard customization with infinite possibilities. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't think it's literally the holy grail. Yeah, do you know what literally means? Oh, Im imagine there was an actual grail in here. Oh man, I'd sure feel like a dweeb then. Well, let's quit blabbing on about it. Let's uh, open this thing up and check it out, shall we? Oh, um, the, the box is really nice. I don't want to wreck the box. Hang on. Ah, there we go. All right, there's a p the plastic there. We'll just throw that right in the ocean. Wow, l look at that box. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm, j I'm just a sucker for a good box. I have a ton of old boxes because I just love them. I know it's cheesy. It doesn't matter what a box looks like. The Black IO 83. Anything you want. Okay, um... Oh wow, there's like a soft padding on the inside of the box. It's like, it's like felt. Quick guide, okay. Uh, if you're a Mac user, you can change the mode. W wired connection, wireless connection, Bluetooth connection, backlight, lighting effects, switch between the different effects, function keys, arrow keys, and here we go. Oh, uh, I guess we'll check the keyboard in a minute. Let's uh, see what else we got in the accessorize box. Accessorize. Oh, um, these are some extra keys or of some sort. What are these? Looks like some extra arrow keys, command. Oh, this is for like switching to like a Mac style. If you're a Mac guy or, or girl, a Mac person. What's in this one? Oh, it's a, a keycap puller and a, a switch puller for swapping out your switches and your keycaps. And a USB-C cord if you don't have 700 of those yet. And a little manual. Cute. Okay, on to the keyboard. The moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that, that is very different looking in real life than I was expecting for some reason. H hang on, let, let's get this plastic off. Let's get a good shot of that peel. Oh, that's really odd there, huh? Oh, wow. Uh, that, <laughs> that was annoying. Wow. That is freaking beautiful. 
There's something about the, the shininess and the sort of see-throughness. It's hard to describe. I, I, I doubt it looks as good on the video as it does in real life. There's like a gold iridescence to it. I, I love the way it looks. Way fancier than most of my garbage. I feel like a fancy boy right now. Alright, so where should we start? Uh, let's do the visual tour, I guess. They've got words on the buttons. See that? A tab height 7.6 millimeters and 1.5 U. Uh, does that mean anything to you? Is that like the height of the keys or something? Are these words for like keyboard nerds? Oh, look at this. Innovation in the open. Wow, that's very inspiring. Thank you. Oh, look, there's words up here too. It runs QMK on this device. It runs QMK on this device. That doesn't feel like a proper sentence to me. Uh, maybe I'm just tired, but I feel like there should be a better way to say that. Oh, I looked up uh, QMK before I, I made this video, by the way. It stands for Quantum Mechanical Keyboard, which sounds fancy, but it basically means that the, the firmware of the device is like modifiable, so you can program all the RGB and the macros or really anything about the keyboard. Yeah, you, you can do that all yourself. I'm not going to show you that. I, I don't know how to program anything really. I can't program my thermostat to be honest. But if you're into programming and know what QMK is, well this keyboard is that. And over here we have Windows and Mac switch, Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz switch, power button, USB-C charging hole, and what's this? Is this the 2.4 gigahertz dongle? So you can use that instead of Bluetooth if you want, or if you're a gamer and you can't deal with the Bluetooth latency, that should perform better for you. And, and we have some feet down there. We have two levels of height for each foot. So you could pull out the little foot and it's only raised up a little bit. And if you want it raised up more, you could pull out the big foot uh, like that. All right, time for the big test. The jellyfish switches. Are you ready? Oh, wow. Oh, that is so interesting. It, um, I, I mean... How do I put it into words? It's a, it's a linear travel, so there's no tactility or click or anything, but it's got a bit of a, a dampening effect is the best way I could describe it. The, the, the jellyfish switch, it's a sort of soft feeling, I guess. It almost feels like a mix between a red switch and a membrane keyboard, but not in a bad way. Like all the good parts of a membrane keyboard, like how it's slightly quieter and softer under your fingers, it feels like that, but it's like a fully mechanical switch style. It feels great, actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting feeling. Oh, should we pull off one of the keycaps and get a peek underneath? All right, so this is a keycap puller, and the way that this works is you just line it up and smash it down a couple times and then yank it off. Can you see that on the video? It's like a clear switch, just a normal looking switch, but clear, <laughs> like a jellyfish. The switches are quiet on their own, so that click that you hear is actually the sound of the keycap hitting the bass when you smash the key down. Okie dokie. Uh, there's lots of nice little visual touches on it. L uh, like, look, look how the I and the O are just slightly different looking. And th that matches the logo of the keyboard. The uh, black I-O and the I and the O look like they fit together. They did that on the actual keyboard too. Cute. Alright, let's try turning it on. Oh, does it ha have batteries? I probably need to charge this up, huh? Yeah, I think I need to charge it. Oh, let's plug it in with the included USB-C cable, of course. Oh, wow. Okay. That's very RGB, isn't it? You know, I'm not, not a big RGB guy. I, I like having RGB to customize the look of my PC parts, but I tend to go with just like a simple one color design, usually. The keys are so transparent. It, it, it's a beautiful effect, actually. <laughs> it looks better on real life than it does on the screen, I think. It, it's bright and colorful, but also like subtle with, a, with a, like a black tint to it. Let's take a quick look at the quick start guide and see what we need to do to change the RGB. Okay, so function and left and right change the effect. Function up and down is the brightness. Function and shift and up and down is the speed. And function and shift and left and right is the color. Okay, and th there's another effect. Oh, I like that one. You know, the effect of the RGB is really cool because it's shining right through the keys, but you can still clearly see the letters on the, the buttons. I wonder how many different RGB lighting modes there are. Oh, that's like a pastel there. Uh, my, my mom would like that one. Fading between the colors. There we go. We got the uh, star twinkles happening now. That, I, 
I don't really like that one. Oh, what the heck is going on there? It almost looks like a LCD or something. Oh, I guess if you, if you since you could program this yourself, you actually could show like a screen or something on there. Like a, make the keyboard into like a marquee or something. What is happening? Okay, th this effect is just confusing me. Is this supposed to be like meteors? And of course you got the thing where if you press the buttons, then they stay lit for a second. Oh, some uh, explosions there or implosions, <laughs> I guess. Oh, let's try changing the color. Uh, can we get orange? Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Actually, it's sort of like a fire effect around the outside. You see that? How it's like red on the outside and it fades into orange in the middle. Here's this thing. Uh, that one. I've seen that before on keyboards. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> you push it once and it does a spread. And then, then if you press it again quick, it, it flips out. Oh, that one's really nice. I like the subtle effect on that one. Oh, I like that one too. Oh, I do like that one. Oh, there's so many RGBs on this thing. Okay, I think we're back at the start. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on this one. I think. All right. Uh, that's all we're gonna do for RGB, I guess. So I should probably do a, a typing test, huh? Yeah. Let's uh let's do a test. Oh, uh, but by the way, I needed to use the switch at the top to turn the wireless mode over to the dongle. After that, you'll need to hold a shortcut on the keyboard to connect to the dongle. And then once it's connected, it stays connected. It's a, it's all the quick start guide though. I disconnected in just a few seconds and it works great. I, I wasn't able to detect like a single bit of latency. It's like instantaneous as far as I can tell. And if you want to connect a Bluetooth device, you need to just hold a function and press one, two, or three, and then you could pair it with a device. And uh, it remembers that pairing, so you can switch between devices super quick. See, here on my phone, it's working great there, and then I can press function at 4 to get back to the PC for the 2.4 gigahertz toggle. Uh, th this is not my usual typing setup. I usually type on my standing desk, so this test is, isn't going to be 100% accurate, but it'll be good enough. I'm going to type for a while here, like 30 minutes or so. I, ha I have a script for a video to write anyway, so it's a good, a good chance to p put this through its paces. And I'll do some speed typing tests too. So let's do that now and then I'll see you on the other side. Alrighty, uh, I've typed on it for a while now. I wrote a whole script for the video I'm going to start filming actually and I've done some speed tests. I did all right. That's a pretty good score for me. So what do I think? My main impressions are that it feels really good. Um, the, the slightly membrane-y feel of these switches, it, it's very quiet, very soft feeling of the fingers, but a very responsive. It, it feels like a normal linear switch, but with almost like a soft cushion at the bottom. It's hard to describe. You just got to kind of feel it, I think. Maybe you can tell what it would feel like from how it sounds in the video. I, I don't know. I, I love it though. It, it feels so smooth. One thing I will mention is that I accidentally hit the left button on the arrow keys every now and then when I use the backspace. Uh, because the arrow keys are sort of lower down, they're not in line with the rest of the keys, it means that when I reach up to hit that backspace, the, the side of my hand hits the arrow keys and it moves the cursor when I only want the backspace. I, actually, I, at first I thought there was something wrong with the keyboard until I realized what I was doing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get used to that, to be honest. I, lots of keyboards go with this design though, with the arrow keys slightly lower down and Lots of people buy and use those keyboards, so maybe it'll be fine for you. I just know from experience that I have stubborn muscle memory, so maybe that will be a problem for me enjoying this keyboard in the long term though. But maybe not though, if I can get used to it. I, I gotta live with it for a while, uh, a few days at least, if not a week or two, before I can decide if this is going to be my new main keyboard. But overall, so far, I'm very impressed with it. I really do love it. I love the way the keys feel, both the jellyfish switches and the actual feel of the, uh, the, the plastic keys themselves. The RGB is great, lots of options there. It has QMK, if you're into that, whatever it is. It's got great features, the hot keys and all the different modes, they, they all work perfectly perfect. I'm not, I'm not finding much to complain about, to be honest. And I love the look of it. This would look amazing on like a high-end desk for some fancy person with a, an important job, like a lawyer. All black with like shiny gold accents. Yeah, freaking beautiful, man. <laughs> I feel like an imposter with this keyboard. It's way fancier than I am. Anyways, th that's it. That's my first impressions of the Black I.O. keyboard by me. I like it. 
I really freaking like it. This might be the nicest keyboard that I own. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll link to the company's page in the description below. And they seem like a good company that makes good products. And that brings us to the end. I hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there are other products or types of products that you want me to, to check out more often. I'd love to hear your suggestions for what you want to see. And I better not hear any joke suggestions down there. I swear, if any of you dweebs suggest something stupid, I, I'm going to lose it. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, of course. And click it anyways if you did it. How about that? <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.